I sold these on eBay. I think these are pretty cool. Circus Disco. It's by Thump Records. It's actually sealed. This came from a trade um, back in May. So it's been two months. It's got three CDs. Um, I don't think I could find any of it, find this on eBay when I looked it up. It's been a few months, but that's what I think happened. I ended up selling it for $30 plus shipping. I took an offer. Um, eBay sales have been a little slower recently for me, so I am taking offers that aren't absurdly low. Uh, I also sold this, the New Deal for Artists Remastered from the Corinth Collection. It's sealed. This came from a big, uh, relatively big DVD buy that I made um, for $60. I've already made my money back. Everything I'm selling is in is profit. Uh, I use some or put some CDs in um, my store as well. So that was good. Um, and then I sold this called Worlds Apart. This is actually from, I'm in my bookstore, my second bookstore here. It's actually from the shelves. Uh, a Dialogue of the 1960s by Owen Barfield. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I did list it. T.S. Eliot. Look, I have a T.S. Eliot quote here. An excursion into seas of thought which are very far from ordinary routes of intellectual shipping. <laughs> That's quite a endorsement um, by T.S. Eliot. So I sold this for $30, $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, I keep finding books on the shelves, which is great. Um, it's good and bad, right? But it's great in the sense of I find stuff that I can sell on eBay that otherwise would just sit here and not sell um, because it's unlikely someone will want this specific book when they come in, but you never know. So today is Wednesday, um, July 20. What is it? It's the 24th. And so I am heading, I am heading out now, but I'm going to have a couple more. This will be another compilation video. <laughs> I'm doing some different things today, but um, I also sold a really cool J.R. Tolkien book lot that I'll share with you briefly when I get back. Um, that's pretty cool. So let's, let's keep the day moving. So I just went to the thrift store and I got some good stuff. This is for my son, who's obsessed with the Guinness Book of World Records. I can't believe they had a 2022. I got it for half off, so only a dollar. What a crazy deal. This book is Cars. This is the Great American Convertible. And look, Ultimate Classic Cars. Cars, the old classics. Harley's Post and Indian, I don't know. It's unfinished business on this. Ah. So this is about motorcycles. I have someone who comes into my store who buys um, many, many, has bought, has purchased many car related, automobile related books. That's why I stock up on them and I was so excited that I found five. I put out one a week. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. I also bought this, which is Jacob's Field 10th anniversary. It is book, DVD, and CD set. Seven bucks, but it was half off, so it was three fifty. This goes for thirty dollars and up on eBay. Um, so I think I will make a nice, nice little profit off of that. And here was the most valuable one, which will more than pay for everything. This is going for currently about forty-eight dollars, the lowest merchant fulfilled price on Amazon. Existential art therapy. When I saw that title, I looked it up. It was half off, so it was only 75 cents, so that was a great pickup. So all in all, two valuable items here that will make some nice profit combined. These combined, if they sell for 30, around 45 or so bucks, should be like 50, 45, 50 dollars in profit, um, which will more than pay for everything. I only spent 20 dollars on everything, so nice pickups. It is now Thursday, July 25th, 2024. And I am sharing with you some items that sold on eBay. 
<clears throat> I sold this book, which I bought back in February of this year in my store. It was in a lot of books that I bought for $10. This one sold for $25. When you see some a title like this, Negative Ions, as a method of healing, you know you might have something. So $25 bucks plus shipping for that one. This was purchased in a... Uh, local buy for $15 back in March it sold for $17 plus shipping Steve Goodman a lot four of his CDs um, this one here was from a thrift store buy all the way back in December of last year uh, I don't know how much I purchased it for less than a dollar it sold for $12.29 um, that took a little while to sell obviously and then this was the jewel of it all look out for this um this was purchased in a lot for 75 dollars i there's hundreds of dvds that i purchased so disney presents five mile creek the first season this one is sealed which obviously makes it uh puts it at the top of the price uh, price range for this one but even if it's not sealed you still get good money for it it's pretty rare i've never seen it before and this might be the first and last time I see it. We'll see. Uh, but definitely seeing it in this condition sealed. So I bought it with a big lot of other DVDs for $75. This one sold for $95 plus shipping. I had it listed for $99.99. So I took the offer. I like to keep track of where my items come from. So up here you can see that I made a purchase for on... If it's it's going to... Okay. On the uh, May 9th. For $75, LB is local buy for me. And then this is everything that has sold. So I've sold 23 items from that lot on eBay. I also put items in my store. So this is just sales on eBay. So as you can see, the sales started coming in on the 22nd. And I've got them all the way until uh, yesterday. Um, now, I have gross sales as well as net. So my net profit on all of these 23 sales is $451.05. So that's after all eBay fees and shipping, before taxes, pre-tax, net income. That's pretty good off of $75. Uh, so don't be afraid to make um, make those, those bulk buys, knowing that you can pay for the whole lot with a few DVDs and then, um, or items, and then make profit off the rest. Still July 25th, uh, Thursday. I'm in my store and I got a bunch of stuff in. Uh, local buys. Had the same guy come in twice and bring me a bunch of DVDs, as you can see, and Blu rays. So, some TV shows, uh, lots of movies, and all of this here, including this video game, is going to go into my store. And then I got two down there. Uh, TV box sets that I'm going to list on eBay. I got Inspector Lewis, the complete series. I'm going to list this one for 30 And then Medium, the complete series. Patricia Arquette, I'm going to list that one for $40 on eBay as well. But overall, I got some good stuff in. Some Blu-rays that I don't have. Uh, this one's a good one. This one's worth some money. Special Ops Lioness Season 1. I'm going to sell it in my store for $9, but uh, you can sell it for more on uh, on eBay. I've got some Law & Orders in that I don't have in the store. Um, the special extended edition of Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, and Return of the King. Um, Final Destination set. A bunch of different, different movies, as you can see, in different genres. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, well, anyway, I finished with these. <laughs> I'm going to put those away. And then um, I'm going to go through some records. And then after that, I'll start digging into that last Gaylord of CDs. It is 94 degrees here. Um, I've, had, I've had some people come in Thursday. So I've had some people come in, buy some of the newer stuff that I put out. But um, it's been a little slow today. Um, end of July, heading into August pretty soon. The summer is getting towards the end here. Um, and the summer has been a little slower in my store, I have to say. I think people have been traveling uh, and or just staying out of the heat. Um, yeah. 
I'm ending the day, um, work day, with, I just had a sale, had someone come in. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of tired with uh, this box of CDs because I am digging into my last Gaylord or pallet of CDs of the five that I bought last year. And I'm pretty excited about it <laughs> to finally finish it off um, and move on to the next phase, which I've talked about before, but I keep talking about it because I got to make sure that I do it. And the more I talk about it, the more I am sure I will uh, once I get through all of those. Um, of course, as I get other stuff in, whether it's donations, trades, or buys, I have to go through that stuff first, but uh, otherwise it starts piling up. But um, aside from that, this is my first box of many <laughs> out of the whole Gaylord. There's probably 2,000, if not more, CDs in there, so we're talking uh, a lot of bankers' boxes. Um, but once I get through all that, then I'm going to deal with all these, all these stacks of CDs here and down there, uh, over here, over here. And even, it's crazy, I don't really show it because it's the bathroom, but this is the madness here. Now these are all from different series, CD series, like Kids Bop or Kid Bop. What a, I don't know how to say it, I forgot. Um, a bunch of them, a series like that where they have many different um cds in the Saturn series and so i try to put together as many as i can as an example here's some 16 biggest hits this one here is the um 20th century masters the millennium collection if you can get a ton of these together you can sell it for good money this one's the 20 what is that classics one that i see quite often there's another 20th uh, what is it called 20th century masters that is time life if you can get a, a bunch of Time Life or um, Reader's Digest CDs together, you can sell them for good money on eBay as well. So that's, and by the way, this is just the top of it. This is, <laughs> it's that it's that crate, that box, another box, and I think there's another box down there too. So I've already built out a lot of those sets in the past, and um, I continue to add more so that when I finally get through the pallet and I can start going through them, I can have a really nice uh, set. So, you know, even if they're not complete, um, you know, like those 20th Century Masters, if I can have 40, 50 of those, that's going to be a nice sale on eBay. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of stuff, too. Also, I'm doing it by genre and artist to do lots, big lots on eBay. So I'm excited about that. Um, I've cleaned up a lot back here, and um, I'm going to be doing that after I finish um, going through the pallets. The last palette is essentially, you know, there's back stock, there's back stock over here, and then there's stuff for sale on eBay over here. So the back stock DVDs, the CDs, the vinyl, the books, all that is going to be organized really well um, so that I can find it quickly and know what I have and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be a big part of just reorganizing, sorting. Um, you know, stashing it away so it's easy to get to, uh, you know, obviously getting rid of all these stacks of CDs, either selling them online or locally or just pulling on discs. Anyway, that's the, that's the plan. So just reminding myself <laughs> because it's really easy when you get into reselling, especially if you have access to bulk, whether it's bulk books, bulk CD, vinyl, DVDs, et cetera, et cetera, VHS, you can really quickly get buried in it if you don't, if you aren't, if you aren't ruthless enough to um, sell them off or throw them away, give them away, whatever. Uh, either you know locally or online, sell them, etc. If you're not really getting through that stuff fast, it's going to pile up. And so I've let that happen, um, and so that's why I'm going to not be getting any more Gaylords, any more pallets. Unless someone just shows up suddenly in a truck and says, here's three pallets of CDs for free, just take them. <laughs> as long as they're not mangled or, or you know, whatever it may be, uh, or all like religious or something, then, uh, then I'll take it, but that's just not gonna happen. Um, I've gotten free, I've, those, those five pallets were free, except for the cost of having them delivered. I had to pay someone to have them delivered. 
which was $450 for five pallets of CDs, and I've done really well with those. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to be seeking out mixed media uh, pallets or any pallets until I get everything sorted through and cleared out and sold, um, so I can you know have my have my space organized, and I still have books to go through at my second bookstore as well. So I'm probably going to be putting a halt on buying big bulk, stuff in bulk uh, as I move forward with the business. Anyway, that's how I'm ending the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of everything. Um, it's been a little simpler for me to make the videos like that, but I will still be making videos about one particular topic instead of you know the ones I've been making all the time. So I'll kind of mix it up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.